Yuki, good afternoon. First and foremost, we should mention there have been no mosquito borne Zika cases yet here in Pennsylvania. But of course, we have plenty of breeding ground, plenty of water in our area, so a case is always possible. But not if the doctors at one Philadelphia based laboratory have it their way. We were watching, just like everybody else, the epidemic in Brazil and South America. So Inovio Pharmaceuticals president Dr. Joseph Kim teamed up with Dr. David Weiner at Philly's Wistar Institute to create a safe vaccine to battle a Zika virus. And fast forward nine months, uh, Inovio had the ver first Zika vaccine to be approved by the FDA for human testing. The vaccine was created in this lab, and now it's being tested in 40 people, some here in Philadelphia, before being pushed to the Food and Drug Administration for hopeful approval. Our main technology was born out of here, and the Zika vaccine was made here. What makes this vaccine different is the fact it is not live. It is fully synthetic, created entirely on a computer doesn't grow, can't replicate, can't spread to other individuals. Dr. Weiner says essentially this means the vaccine will prepare the body if it's infected with Zika at a later date. Navy SEALs rehearse. Yeah. They don't always necessarily shoot somebody. Sure. Sort of the same thing. We rehearse the immune system, making them able so when they would encounter the real pathogen, they'd be prepared. And already early results seem promising. These black dots show samples of T cells, which grew in vaccinated patients, the same cells that would fight a true Zika infection. The response here um, is a very good indication that we're generating T cells that see the Zika virus. Right now, there is no set release date for this vaccine. It really depends on two different factors. The first, of course, the results of this testing on humans. The second, how serious the, Z the Zika virus is at the time of those results. We're live here along the School of River. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right.